Hey guys, what's up? How are you all doing? Um, we are here in Pretoria and uh, actually we are working in a neighborhood where we are the only black, black people, people living there. It's crazy, right? Yeah, all the neighbors are white. All our neighbors are white. I mean, like, I just wanted to ask you, you know, since we came to Pretoria, haven't you noticed that the majority of the people are white? Like, it's even, yeah, you question yourself, like, am I in Africa, you know? Like, you remember Monte Cassino? Exactly. When we went what? to Monte Cassino, almost everyone, everyone is white. And um, what I also think that, you know, I don't want to say this, but I feel like South Africa is the most divided African country that we've ever been to. Mm -hmm. True or false? That could be true. How divided? Because you see white people by themselves, an area that is only white people. So, yeah, exactly. And you see only Indians grouped together. Mm -hmm. And then you see black people group together but I mean uh, I mean this is how the country is and I feel like everyone is here but it's one thing that I really don't understand What's that? like when you see the luxury houses in mm. Johannesburg if you see luxury houses specifically Victoria it's not owned by black people nah, why I, black people living uh, places where you know houses are not that well off, you know, like Soweto. Yeah, we went to townships. Uh, went to the township, even in um, even in uh, what do you call it? I uh, mean, Pretoria. They live in the township, but if you walk around this beautiful estate, like where we are right now, I mean, look behind us. Just take the camera. The whole of this area you see right here. Oh my goodness! You will never see. Even one black, black person. person. If you see a black person here, which means that he cut the grass or maybe oh, yeah. he cleaning the, the house compound, and, cleaning the house, and um, yeah, or delivering and, something. That's it. That's that's one thing that makes me feel so sad because people are telling me why you don't do a video about luxury houses in um, in South Africa. But it's I don't. Because most of them are owned by whites. I, I mean, of like, course, there are black people who own them, but they are few. You know? I mean, they, they, they are South Africans. Yeah, it's good to talk about those things, but I, I feel like. Um, South Africans, I mean, black South Africans are not empowered, and um, in other words, I would say that like they don't have economic freedom because if you check about the economy of South Africa or what I'm seeing so far, I mean, even though the uh, what do you call it, the white folks in here are just four million, but hey, they, like, they control the economy. Uh, I mean, we went to Monte Casino, you see Monte Casino, what. The, 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 the only we've been told there's only a population of four million black people, exactly. but they control the economy of South Africa. Exactly. Did I say four million black people? Four million. No, no, no. Four million four, white what? people. So we, we just want to know what exactly is happening in South Africa. I mean, this is what I've experienced. This is what I've observed. If you're South African out there, let me know what you think. Um, why do you think this is happening? I mean, who controls the wealth of South Africa? I mean, if if Mandela said all of you can live together as one, right? But after coming here, I feel like your guys are not one. Yeah. And then, you know, other people are what controlling the whole economy. I don't know, but this is what I've seen, and I feel so sad to be here. I mean, I'm enjoying my life here, but um, when you move around certain places, it's, it's when you're in town, you see it's only black people lining up to board the taxi. You don't see why it's like okay, uh, what's going on here? It's like the black park for the whites. I don't know. I don't want to be a cat, oh, you, but you've that's seen just what it, you've I see. Right? Yes, and this is. I mean, like you yeah, walk, you walk much. around the neighborhoods, the mansions. I mean, maybe come, 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 come. I think maybe Mr. Lawrence can tell us better. Go forward a bit, Mr. Lawrence. Yeah. I want to ask you a question, Mr. Lawrence. You live in Victoria. Yeah. I just want to know. I mean, I've been I've been in Victoria for four days now, and I don't even want to do any video. You know why? Why? Because I feel like this is not the black city yeah Pretoria is predominantly white like, but, but why is it like that um i think it's because also pretoria is safer than Joburg, so you've got a lot of the white um preferring to stay here okay. than in, in Joburg. so which means that so there's a there's a well there's a big population of, of white um south africans living in pretoria and um yeah it's it's kind of like so different to Joburg. Yeah, in terms of so, um, which means the place where black people live is not really safe. Um, I wouldn't say that. It's it's the depends, but you find a lot of crime in both areas. But I think um, in the black areas, like you know, it's not really reported. 
Yeah, so there's a lot of crime happening there, then maybe the news doesn't bring it out. Yeah. Then in the white areas, like if, for example, if a, a child is kidnapped or there's a burglary, it's on the news, like everyone's going to know about it. Like, oh. They're so cautious of security, yeah. Wow. So like if you look around in the neighbors, you just see security signs like on every wall, like, you know. And I, I've, I've, I've also seen that like, um, life in Pretoria is kind of laid back. I mean, people really, I feel so safe in Pretoria than when I was in Joburg and all that. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, you think so too? Mo uh, most definitely. Pretoria is like, um, so cool. It's so laid back. Um, you don't really have um, that congestion and what you find in Joburg. So who, you know who owns the wealth of? But I can still say like, 90% of the of the of the economy is being run by the white um, minority. And um, do you think there's any way to empower black people? In here? Well, I I believe that the leadership in the country has got a big role to play because they've had many chances to address that uh, problem. You know, through the so-called black economic empowerment uh, programs they had, where you know, allowing blacks to participate in the economy through tenders and things like that. But it was only being uh, benefiting the rich elites, and then the the others wouldn't fit into into that category because they'd ask them for too many requirements which they wouldn't have for you to be registered to get uh, a tender. So it, it, it's it's there's a lot of work that the government has to do. Like for example, even um, empowerment with um, land and things like that. There's a lot of talk about it, but. Um, you find that ownership of property, the properties are so expensive mm. that the average black person would take 20, 30 years just to own a property. And then the white person, most of the whites in South Africa own properties, most of them own properties and they're at an upper hand, you see. So the economy is kind of like, yeah, diverse. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Lawrence. All right, cool. Bring it up. All right, so I mean, keep working. You see, just wait for us, yeah. Make sure you don't show the car number. Yeah, so you heard from Mr. Lawrence. This is what I've observed in here. I mean, I just want all South Africans to come together, unite as one. Just let me know what you think in the comment section. For me, I'm just a foreigner. I mean, no, I, I, I can't call myself a foreigner. No. <laughs> I'm an African born in Ghana and currently in South Africa. But just, just let me know what you think. I mean, this is what I've observed. Let me know what you've observed and um, you have I'm also curious to, to hear what South Africans uh, have to say about let, it. Let us know what because you think. Because they have a lot to say, but you know, I don't want to overstep my... No, come on. If you have a lot to say, say something. You want to hear. <laughs> you won't be there and I'm being attacked by uh, people. No, no, no. I, this, this, I'm going to post this video on my YouTube channel. Just let me know what, what, what do you have on your mind. Okay. Uh, so what I wanted to say is mm -hmm. that the situation is just sad. As you guys can see, um... <laughs> like this is a black country but you see the black people are suffering i'm not racist i love white people but then come on like come on you know come on like, like yesterday we were fair. in mandela statue there's a group of people who are uh -huh. who, who had put up tents saying they have been ignored since independence um you know there's they have been left out yeah. you know and it's like wow this is your country why is the situation like this i don't know no country is perfect, but we're just pointing out what you have observed here. And um, please, I, re I really wish um, it can, I mean, properties or everything can be shared equally among you guys. And also, if you really think that you're South African, and then you guys still need to come together as one country because it's sad to walk in here and you see white only group here. And here you're not even seeing anything. Can Indians. you remember the, the, the estate you went to? Which estate? Oh, what was the name mm. of the estate? I forgot the name. We went to one estate in what? here. Oh my goodness. And it's one of the most beautiful estates that I've ever seen in my entire, entire life. Entire life. Me too. Mansions upon mansions. Beautiful cars. Oh my goodness. I, you went there. What did you say? You said you feel like your dreams are what? Dreams are valid. Like nothing is impossible. Because uh, yeah, those uh, are only things you see on TV. Yeah, I mean, you, you said something like you feel like you're dreaming. You're not dreaming so big. Oh yeah, I feel like you're not dreaming big enough because you're like, oh my god, people actually live like this. This in, what? In, in, in Africa, I mean, this uh, is the, the motherland. I mean, when I saw it, I was like, wow. And I keep on moving around, seeing all of them, all the houses you see for white folks. I was like, wow, wow, wow. wow. I mean. This is what I've observed. 
I love Africa, I love everybody, but I just wanted to know why this is happening, you know. Um, let us know what you think in the comment section. Um, leave a comment. I mean, share, like, subscribe. Go support me, 3 City channel, and um, it's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.